I'll be right with you. I'm doing something here. Oh, excuse my, my prune juice. Again, I don't really, well, I'll say again, some of you don't even listen to me at all. You ain't heard nothing I said. But it's prune juice. Uh, I don't drink because I need it because I actually, I actually like prune juice. I, it's kind of weird, isn't it? You know, I have fond memories of prune juice when I was young. But I will. I'm not gonna wear. I'm not gonna wear a hat today. Usually I wear a hat. I will put my glasses on though. Where? What the heck? We'll put them on. <laughs> but um, I took a spot, take a shower all the time, I wash whatever. But look, I you know I, I sort of. Well, I, hey, I, I gotta wait till I get to New York. I get to New York in about three weeks or so, whatever it is. Um, two, I guess, whenever it is. And so I get my 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 Muslim barber, my street barber. Can't wait. But meanwhile, I brush my hair. I look pretty presentable, you know. Got the gray matches the gray, gray whatever it is, you know. Might as well take my uh, apple apple cider vinegar tablet. Usually take it in the afternoon. I know it's evening now. Well, you don't know. Well, I know it's eating. But I say, like, I, I know, like, I'm talking to you, like, you supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <sighs> I love it. Camera's a little lopsided, isn't it? Ah, who cares? I care. <laughs> Not <too far>. Well, <sighs> breaking protocol. You got broke protocol, because I usually, man, when I'm doing these things with this outfit with a hat, I should put my Air Force hat on now. Nah, I'll leave it on. I should put my blue hat on, shouldn't I? Nah, I'll leave it on. Uh, listen, talk about breaking protocol. Uh, when I got into this location here um, in Missouri, in the you know, suburbs, all of it, or whatever, I don't know, the suburb, Missouri is nothing but not Missouri, Kansas, uh, Kansas City. Um, where we are, the other city, you know, St. Louis, St. Louis. St. Louis is more, I'm just saying, it's bothering me. I'm sorry, I got it's bothering me. I, uh, you know, when I'm in it, I'm just kind of Christian. When I'm in a different, I, I adjust to wherever I am. That's my secret of traveling. You know, I've traveled all over. And I just adjust, you know. I wait, I look, and I just adjust, I just adjust. So I got here and started walking the dog, long walks, and I couldn't place this place. They had a Trump, a Trump flag, you know, because, you know, Trump, Trump people got flags. They got the Trump flag. They used the American flag and the Trump flag. Meanwhile, it's called lefties, you know what I mean? They don't want to embrace the American flag, so they've given it up to, 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 to the Trumpers, to the Republicans, you know? They gave it a long time to the Republicans. I saw it happen. Anyway, so so I was curious. So at one particular point, he, was just, he, he sits out there, you know, with, with a book and his Bible and like that. And so, you have to understand, see, my, my, my through line in, in, in whatever, I realized that I'm a lab technician, which I, you know... Uh, a stage manager, really, which is it's sort of weirdly the same thing. You know, you, you measure things, you, you know, you just you try to be accurate. You, you just, you record, you're, you're a stage manager, I'm a recordist. That's what I'm at heart. That's what I am. I, I put it all together in one big jumbo. But one of the things is that I'm, a, I'm a, an, an archivist. Well, I'm an archivist. I say archivist. I'm trying somebody that's supposed to be an archivist. But nah, who cares? It's not my language. I say anything I want. Anyway, so my thing is like, I got to get the story. I got to get the story as it is in history right now, because 300 years from now, you know, when somebody is is going through a newspaper who's been ed heavily edited by somebody, whatever have you, they're not getting a true story from a true person on the ground. That, that's the world I travel in, you know? Yeah. I'm not worried about famous people and stuff like that. I don't, you know, because then... If you if you if you listen to these people long enough, you know, they they had it's like any they like politicians. They have the same speech, the same spiel all the time, you know. But when you talk to a real person, like when when I was at the um, AGOS conference last year, everybody's trying to get to the big D. They need that, 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 and I'm just talking to the regular people, and I got some extraordinary interviews. You know what I mean? So if you just go to my interview channel with ADOS, you see some really things. You know, I got a whole family, all kinds of things, and I love talking to regular people, you no know, real people. Um, that's probably why uh, hopefully uh, Misha X will get going next year, and I'm going to try to hang out with that that crew because they do some real on the ground stuff. Anyway, so this Trump guy, you know, I mean, at one point I just looked at him and 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 and, and, I, and I signaled, "Can I come over?" You know, and he said, "Oh, you know," he says, "Yes," you know, so I, I come on over, you know. I sit down, we start. And I said, well, "You know, blah blah." He tells me, "Oh, he's got this whatever, whatever," and then he's, he's reading the Bible, whatever. So I 
You know, now you have to understand my thing. Look. A person, a real interviewer, you're going to interview everybody on everything. Let me just put it that way. So, obviously, the first thing I do, I say, well, what you read? What's the Bible? He said, well, this is a 365-day Bible day. You have every day you have something from the Old Testament, the New Testament, uh, Psalms, and um, and, and whatever, Psalms, and the other thing, Proverbs, I guess, something like that. I said, oh, so well, what's the say for today? So, da, da, da. Then, then, then I started to interview. Every, when I came by, every once in a while, you know, I don't go that way all the time. You know, I would just go. And the first thing I would say, you know, say, well, what's, what's the reading for today? You know, so that's how we start. So every time I see him, what's the reading for today? You, see, you can see, if you go to the YouTube channel and the interviews, you'll see the interviews with him. And so, so then I talk, then I, you know, then he starts talking his politics. Now, my aim, I know what they're going to say. So my aim is not, my aim was not to, you know, challenge him and every, oh, this is that, you know, uh, Trump this and Trump that. No, I'm just, I'm making friends, you know, because you do things and you say things for friends. That's all I'm going to tell you, right? It's a strategy. Remember, I'm an interviewer. That was, that's what I do. I interview. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an archivist. That's, that's that's what we do. We don't we don't really take sides necessarily, even though we will know. You know, at one particular point, can I just say this? The one particular point in we was doing something in Washington D.C. You know, for I don't know if it was yeah, for BAI. I don't even know if it was BAI. I was just recording, and uh, you know, so all these pop political people come through. You know, these, these activists make their little speeches, and you know, they come in, they make their speeches, and then they have to run off someplace. You know, and you know, people are coming in and out. But me, as the person as the recordist, you know, I have this. I I start to see all that stuff. I'm there before the stars. I see at the end. I can interview people, whatever it is. And at one particular point, Errol Maitland, I, 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 I told the story before I got to tell you, because it's so funny. Errol was, was almost, he was peeved at something or another. I don't know what he was peeved at. But he said, you know, the smartest person in the room is him. <laughs> Points to me. I'm going, oh, what's going on, you know? And what he, his point was, you you people are sitting here. You're not even listening. You're not even you're not ask, asking intelligent questions. You know you don't know what's going on. You know because you're not paying attention. You see. So I mean, so what happens? I'm just trying to say all all almost as a stage manager. The same thing what happens as a theater stage manager. You see all kinds of things. You know all kinds of things happen. You have to keep it to yourself. You have to almost be neutral because you have. You're the glue that holds everything together. The glue can't be taken aside, otherwise the house will fall apart, you see? So consequently, my perspective on things is kind of different. I mean, it's just it's just groomed into me from a very young age to be to look at all sides of the thing, navigate through the thing. When I have a, you know, like like that. So like for this, I listen to Jimmy Gore all the time. And <clears throat> and boy, man, Jimmy just lays it out. And and for life of me, and I can't understand, like Jimmy Gore, I can't understand how these people. They take, thing is, it's a sport now. Everybody takes a side, and you can't move from your side. You're not listening to anything else, and you're going to say, well, Trump bad, you know, Obama good. Obama did more harm than Trump has ever done. I can't explain how many, do you, listen to Jimmy Dore, he'll tell you. Then Michelle Obama comes in there saying about, you know, oh, Barack would have never have gotten away with the things that Trump gets away with. What are you talking about? You don't want to get rid of habeas corpus. You don't want to start more wars. You don't want to... Who, who put who can I give, put military presence in in Africa? Oh, forget, let's come to home. Everybody's doing the police violence right now. They say, oh, the police, this police, that. Well, who gave the police the equipment? Who gave the police the equipment? Joe Biden and Barack Obama. Okay, Barack Obama, whatever. Gave the police the, the military equipment. They that they, they would start these wars. I'm saying then the military committee decommissioned or whatever. They gave it to these police police forces. They give the little fiefdoms. And then they say, oh, we got to defund the police or whatever. No, you got to disarm the police. They don't even say disarm the police. People don't even think. You don't want to defund the police. You want to disarm them. <laughs> and who armed them? Think about it. And this thing drives me crazy. It drives me absolutely nuts. And then we're in this political season, and people don't even understand what politics are. They keep on... How many of you gone to a political meeting? I'm, I'm, let's say, you, say, say you're a Democrat, whatever. Go into a political meeting. I'm so happy for ADOS. At least they they have they have we have chapters. We have what we call I call them nodes. You know what I mean? So they're politically active because it's a political movement. Not like these people say, oh, this person's been in Cobra for a long time. They blah 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 blah. But they don't. Yeah, what political? Yeah, oh, geez. what? I hear this all the time. 
you know, oh, we we got we got we got to vote we got to vote blue, you know, whatever it is. But you're in a state. If you, you if you're in a blue state, voting blue ain't gonna help you. You gotta vote down ballot to get to get the proper people in because it, they, they look at these people and they 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 see them from the beginning and then they groom them up. You know what I mean? That's what happened with this attorney general, whoever he is in in in, in, in Kentucky, who, who 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 just let the police off. You know what I mean? Cause they they look at I, I forgot the, I I finally got to remember the name. It's the Federalist. They have this this, this federal Federalist Society in in in. In, in like Harvard and place like anyway, there's federal society where they they look when the law students they come through that and they start grooming them to be judges, law and you know judges are law from the time they come out of law school. This person is Amy person. They did they they're gonna make the Supreme Court and, and nobody gonna say anything again. They've groomed her from from a, for a long time ago, for a long time, and they'll be in some position for two months, two years, and all of a sudden you know just like Barack Obama they picked them. Things certain that haven't they picked them? And and you know, you're gonna do our bidding, and 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 wow, did he do their bidding? And here's the funny thing, it's all out in the po in, in, in the open. I I read Audacity of Hope. Have you ever read Audacity of Hope? <laughs> How he won against every single pass, and it's so weird. And then there's the Democrat gets Republican. Anyway, let me let me let me let me let me stop for a second. So anyway, going back to this cat, you know. So I'm looking, so, so, so me and Vaughn, we're friends now. You know, we're friends. We do things for friends. So a couple of months ago, he said he's going to a Republican meeting because they have a meeting monthly. I said, oh, can I go? Sure. <laughs> so I went. <laughs> and that meeting, that's a, the, yeah, this is the district. Well, this is, well, this is all of uh, this St. Louis area. But one of the districts, the, the, the late, uh, um, you know, Lacey Clay lost to, to the sister, you know. Um, and so, so that that's all wrapped up. You know, she's going to get it. She's a new darling, and so all the Democrats are going to put their weight behind or whatever. So there's no way they, they 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 didn't have a Republican to run, right? But at this meeting, this whacked out this guy who said he was a comedian, but is you know, you know, he's look scrawny hair, beard, or whatever. I mean, he's out there cursing and talking about the uh, um, uh, the 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 sisters. Uh, um, uh, Cory Bush, you know, she, 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 yeah, that's her name. But, yeah, Cory Bush, that's her name. God, I can't, like, whatever. Um, she, uh, you know, she's a she's a communist. She used to be homeless and blah, blah, blah. all these things that you was this nigga, and, and cursing at this meeting at this you know this this Republican meeting, and the people were and they, they were trying to like, like calm them down. Say, well, the, and one of the guy, a black guy, said, do you realize that in that district you're talking about you you talking you know. She, it's predominantly black district, blah, 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 blah. And he's going, he shut this guy down. It was like, whoa, I'm going like, this is entertaining, right? <laughs> and all, all, and coming back, the guy, you know, uh, Von, he's, he's, he's saying, well, wow, that was blah, blah, blah. And I said, ah, he's, I said, it was just show to me, blah, 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 you know? Because he's going to, he's the official candidate for the Republican, on the Republican side against, against uh, uh, Cory Bush, uh, the, the sister that that's newly, you know, newly favored, you know, the, the, you, know, you know, the star in, in the area, right? Because she dethroned this this dynasty with with the Clay people. So, okay, so come, so so then we had a meeting just this last Thursday, the last because of the, the last Thursday of the month, I think it's, it's always, and um, and so I went again, right, you know, and the guy, the guy that was questioning this guy and telling, trying to give him the facts, other people were trying to help him, you know, this, this comedian guy that was just cursing and carrying on, right? He comes out that he has now, he's, he is going to run, right? As an independent, run on the, because he has to write, he has to write him in, right? Because everything was already done, you know, but, you know, whatever. And, and he gets up there, you know, he's got a little suit on that time, you know, he's a double-breasted thing, like I said, black guy, you know, and uh, uh, what is it? Anyway, so he, he comes and, and he says, says that, and they are going to get behind him. Now I'm going like, well, this guy ain't got a snowball's chance in heck to to beat the person because he's not on the ballot. You got to write him in. That's going to take, you know, he, you know, he, he, don't, he don't even have no signs or nothing like that, you know. So why is he running? You know, he's not the Republican pick because they already have it. They had to, you know, whatever. And then you realize the politics, you know, he may be grooming himself for another run some other time. But more importantly, that this is money that that people are going to put behind him. They got to put their money someplace. They're not going to put it behind a Democrat 
candidate. They're certainly not going to put up this other joker. There's a real, you know, cat. They're not going to contribute to this person, you know? So I'm thinking, wow, this is so interesting. If, let me put it this way. If, if a lot of these people was to say, say my friend who was, you know, I don't know, Get out, get Trump out. If he came to this meeting, whatever, ever, well, you're not going to come to me here because we're a mass group. But my point is this you have a chance right now, this is next, next month, not on, to go. These meetings are open, you know. You, there's no dues or nothing like that, you know. Go to go to some po- local political meetings because what do you think the meeting? A guy got up there and explained it, what, what, how to vote on these propositions that are up. You know, these these things that are up, you know, some of them make sense, but they say, you know, vote. So you go, yes, no, whatever. They tell you right there what to do, you know, like that. They, they say you have to recruit for poll watchers, all that kind of thing. So these little meetings are very, very in, enlightening and helpful, right? So I learned a lot from that. Now, remember, my, my bona fides in politics, uh, when the Jesse Jackson first ran and the whole David Dinkins thing back there, da, da. by the way, Obama did the same. Uh, Obama is actually David Dinkins' You know, one point five. <laughs> if you look at David Dinkins, he did the same. Th- he did Obama before Obama did. Believe me, okay. I was at, with all those. I, anyway, all I'm trying to say is, hang out with you. If you have this next month, you know, op- month of October, I right, whatever. Start going to little meetings, not only your own rah-rah to help your candidate, whatever have you, but go to some oppositional meetings and see, see what the lay of the land is, what they're talking about. They, you know, just do it, you know? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I hate to tell you all this, but and I keep on saying this, and, and I don't hope I'm wrong, but I'm just I'm predicting, right? I want to see if I'm right. White women are not going to let Kamala Harris be president of the United States. And I don't think they're going to do that. White women wouldn't let Hillary become president of the United States. So I know, I, I just have this sneaky suspicion, whatever, suspicion, you know? And it is, I, I just, and all these people that keep on sheep herding, trying to sheep, look, look, I can't vote for Biden. This is for a number of reasons, whole crime thing, whatever have you. But I'm certainly not going to vote for the Democrat, not giving it whatever have you. So I have to, I have to write in, you know. After, after when I get back to New York and I'm, to look at the Virginia ballot, see who's running, see who's down, down, then, then do some vetting myself of what's going to do. Then when I get to, um, when I get to uh, uh, Virginia, I might try to go to some meeting or something like that, see what these people are saying and, and like that. Maybe ask questions. And you should too. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? Don't, don't get on a team. Your team ain't play. Do not. Okay, you can get on a team if you want to, but. Why? I just don't get it. Are you supposed? This is part of research. Research is not just looking in books and see what somebody's record is. Research is actually going to me and feeling the vibe, seeing the, the, the thing, talking to people. There's this brother that again he's running uh, one of the Repu- right here running public uh, one of those low level assemblymen, whatever whatever the heck it is. You know what I mean? And he's probably going to win because he's going to the Democrat. They put up she's whatever, like, but he's going to win as a Republican. But that means he's going to have all this money and all this things going to be behind him. You see, they're going to help him. You see, so it's politics. I and mean, if you're going to, if you, it, it, celebrities ain't kind, celebrities ain't got time for this, but maybe they now they do. You know what I mean? Other people are like you have time right now. So they have the time of COVID. You have time to do some on the ground. You know, you know, mass to mass research. Do it. Don't just sit there and, and, and listen to your your your, your MSNBC, your Raras, your your Raras, your your Foxes, your MSNBCs tell you, filter something to you. Just don't do it. That's just a message from me. T from the Pattersons, from reality. Taking the trench to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.